we're back and I have my voice back. That was very strange, Tony. But anyway, maybe it's because of all of the cameras going. I must tell the, the audience just a little bit, too, that uh, when you call in, your um, question will be taped. And if you do not want to be on the air or on videotape, as a, as a caller, then you'll have to make sure you, you wait till another time. But if you'd like to be, if you're going to be on the air, know that it's going to be on the air, on the air. It's 1029 and you are listening to KNUS Talk Radio 71. And I am Yvonne Chardello, metaphysical clairvoyant counselor in my show, As I See It. You're listening to a beautiful author and a myth maker. His name is Tony Shearer. And he's telling us a story that's going to lead up to a date of August 16th, 1987, the end of the fifth sun, and what that means to you and I. Our telephone numbers, if you have a question you'd like to ask us, 825-KNUS, 825-5687. And for our friends outside of the Denver area, 1-800-341-5687. Tony, I have a question. How does the story of Sky Woman relate to the date August 16th, 1987? Well, let me explain this first of all. The story of Sky Woman is an Iroquois tr creation story, and it's very fitting in a spiritual context. However, what I'm speaking of is a tradition that's very well known in Central America. Right. All right. We have lived according to these traditions through five worlds. Five these, worlds. Yes. We right. call them worlds, and it's fair enough to call that. Uh, we can look at those five worlds in many different ways. Uh, I view them in a certain context that deals with the calendars. And so I look at a, at a way of seeing these things that would be I believe through the teachings of Zayacatl, Topeltzin, Quetzalcoatl, right. the Lord of the Dawn. Lord of the Dawn. According to this way of you, seeing please. all this history, the world has been created and destroyed four times before now. In other words, the root races that were on the planet Earth went through a transformation of being destroyed or removed from the planet? Yes, and it's carried traditionally as a, as a sort of total destruction. You know that that's what happened. Cataclysmically, yes. catastrophically? Yes, however, that is not the context that I know of it. Right. That is a way of seeing it. Remember this. We're talking, I am drawing material from a civilization that was very large. The population of Mexico at the time of the conquest, say in the area of Oaxaca, was between, if you can imagine this, between 18 and 28 million people. In one area. In one area that has never reached that it's back to about 7,000 now in that area. Uh -huh. All right, what I am saying is that there are many cultures in Mexico, many. The ones we call Aztec, there was no such thing as Aztec. That is what a European wrote about us, you see. There it's, was not an or, a civilization no, by no, the name of Aztec. Our, our never Aztec. was, never was. That was coined by a Frenchman. I see. The people who we are generally thinking of as Aztec or Tinoch. 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 They were the citizens of Tenochtitlan, which was the ancient city that sat where Mexico City sits today on the great Lake Texcoco. These were the Tinoch. Why was it Tinoch? Because Tinoch was the man who took them there. He was the one who found the island that was prophesied before. They said that these people, the Mochica, had come from Aslan. Therefore, the Frenchman says, oh, well, anyone who carries the legend or the myth of coming from Aslan, they are Aztec. There were no Aztecs, never were. That is not a place. That is not a people. There are the Tinoch. And, and our there history are many books have Tishkokans. to be changed. <laughs> there are many other different uh, Nahuatl-speaking people in the Valley of Mexico. Right. You see what happened is that Things became very confused after 1519, after Cortes arrived. And the reason was 
that they burned all of the Indian books in Mexico, as many as they could, could, could uh, find and destroy. Why did they do that? They believed that everything there was the teachings of the devil. <coughs> Literally, that they had found the nesting ground of Satan. Because in this Cortez is the same as uh, Well, Cortez was the returning god. Okay. Very, very strange story. Let me, let me, can I take a couple of minutes? Yes, you may, go ahead. You see, in a time, in 947 AD, a boy was born. He was born in the sacred city of Xochicalco, high in the mountains above Mexico City. His mother was the beautiful, beautiful lady known as Chimilima. His father had been Mishcoatl, a fierce warrior and the leaders the leader of the wild Chichimecas, tribes that had come into the Valley of Mexico during the early part of that century, and he was one of their leaders. A strange story it is, because of how Mishcoatl met Chimilma, washing her hair by the waterfall. He followed her home. He was an older man. She was a young temple virgin, like a nun. Mm -hmm. she, he followed her home. He met her father. He asked for her. Her, as his wife. The father said, no, she is promised to the House of the Dawn, to the Order of Quetzalcoatl. He stayed around. He met the girl. They talked. At last, the girl wanted to marry him. She said she could see his spirit, and his spirit was white, and he was beautiful. And by this marriage, possibly they would form a bond between the wild Chichimecas and uh, and uh, the peaceful people of the valley. That's not what happened. They were married, but they had to have the marriage consecrated with his people. His two brothers refused, and the story began. Mishkoatl was killed. Chumilma escaped, went back to Xochicalco. It was the fulfillment of a prophecy that had been laid down, we don't know for how long, that he would be born. He had to be born under very unusual circumstances, and one of those circumstances was that his mother would die when he was born. Who is this Quetzalcoatl, the plumed serpent? He is a creator god. He is the Lord of Light. The Lord of Light. The Lord of Light. Yes, the, the one that was the beautiful Sky Woman's son in the beginning, you yes, see? Yes, And it's a myth continues through all of the stories. Now how do you how do you get in touch with these these myths? And it, is it written down like in uh, in a form? Much of it is written in Mexico. Mexico is very is very strong to these things, and the Indian people carry the oral tradition themselves. And they pass it on from generation that, to generation. But the museums, the anthropologists of Mexico, are they are Mexican Indians themselves, many of them. I they are see. tracing their own history. They're not foreigners looking for somebody else's ancestors. You know, I understand. You see? I understand. And which is very true. So, and we see what these archaeologists do is very different than what other archaeologists uh, have done with the, with the ruins in Mexico. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the calendar. <coughs> the ceremonial calendar. Yes. The, the, the people that we call the Aztecs, who, for the purpose of clarification, right. I will say the Aztecs. Thank you. Uh, and, and that will help everybody along. To understand. <clears throat> right. The, 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 all of the people of Middle America, Mexico, and Central America, no doubt up in this country and probably back with the Iroquois in the, on the eastern seaboard, had a, a measurement of time. They knew the solar calendar and they knew the lunar calendar. They, had, uh, they, they were very fine astronomers, uh, true astronomers. They're masters of it. And they came to a formula, a certain very special calendar. The solar calendar has 365 and a fourth day in it, as we know. Yes. That's the Gregorian calendar. A lunar calendar, based on 28 days per month for 13 moons, would give you 364 days, one and a fourth day short, a solar year. You see, right away you start getting into some pretty All, all kinds of mathematics, numbers, yes. yes. All right, but let me say it this way. <clears throat> the people of Mexico found a very unique calendar that is a calendar of the human. Of based the human? On the human. Based on the 
functions of the female body.